Welcome Gemini, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the moment using the Shadow Healing cards, the Cosmic Reading cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay Gemini, let's get into it. Okay, so three cards for Gemini please. Two out already and three, just like that. Okay, what have we got? Overwhelmed. Sharing responsibilities is not a weakness of character. In fact, it demonstrates an ability to trust in others and allows them the opportunity to participate. Perfect. Overwhelmed. Okay. Unhappiness. Searching for contentment is a well-travelled path that can be elusive. The hunt for happiness might not conclude at the destination, but joy can be found during the journey itself. So very true. Delay. Not everything has to happen now, and taking time to consider the outcome can be beneficial. However, delaying won't fix anything, as nothing will change. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look further into this, shall we? Okay, so two cards for Overwhelmed for Gemini, please. Overwhelmed. Sharing responsibilities is not a weakness of character. In fact, it demonstrates an ability to trust in others and allows them the opportunity to participate. Okay. It's the trust, right, Gemini? It's the trust. That's the hard thing. The trust to open up, to let someone step in to whatever it is that you're doing. Um, it's so funny because it kind of reminds me of sometimes it's like, oh, it's not going to be done the way I like it, so I'll just do it myself, <laughs> you know. And, I, and, and that even that in itself is working so that understanding that everyone has their way of doing things and I think accepting um, other people and the way they do things it may not be the way you do it but you know I think when we accept that help and it may not necessarily be done the way we like it but understanding that it's something that you don't have to do and there's nothing wrong with kind of showing people okay this is the most efficient way to achieve this um, but also looking at um is this just a controlling thing of this is the way you have to do it, otherwise don't bother at all, you know, because um, if you end up with the end result, how you get to that isn't really, um, you know, that, that doesn't bear weight in a sense, so long as it's, you know, whatever needs to be done is accomplished, right? So let go here, yeah, and, you know, look at this, overwhelmed and look at the picture here that just the state of absolute entanglement right and that's what overwhelmed can feel like so delegating letting go some of the responsibilities and allowing others to step in to help okay so two cards for let go and especially if um, say like there's younger kids involved that can actually help them to feel like they're part of, um, you know, whatever it is that you've got, got going on, whether it could be a family business or something like that. And you actually teach them valuable lessons as well. So that's a really good thing to, um, to include other people in. Okay, so we've got fighting here. Ah, and maturity. So I feel like some of you, this is an ego thing. Okay, others of you, there's a defense mechanism going on here. Okay, there's actually, um, it may very well be a business for some of you, especially with the maturity card coming up here because something may have finished um, and now something new needs to begin and it could be that you're fighting the process you don't want to have to go through that process. So maybe for some of you, you're holding on so dearly 
to what you know um, that you're resisting this new beginning to come forth and take place. And I feel as though there's kind of like, it's a bit of a waste of energy of doing that, Gemini, because it's going to happen anyway. The new beginning is going to take place anyhow. And it's important for you to understand that by letting that happen and, and um, sort of going with the flow in a sense of this happening um, and inviting people in to help you, that will be able to, um, that will help to make you feel supported, okay? Like you actually have a team of people there who are there to have your back, who are there to help you, um, because some of you are actually shutting them out, okay? You don't have to take on everything on your own. You can get help, okay? So we also have Shadow Self here. And um, yeah, this is you hiding from yourself, Gemini. Sort of, it reminds me of the fighting here, putting this armor on and not um, not allowing people in. There's a fear um, about doing that. Right, so digging into that shadow self is necessary. There's healing that needs to be done. And the things that you're hiding in the shadows that you don't want to look at needs healing. So two cards for shadow self for Gemini. And the fact of the matter, Gemini, is that you need to, in order to love all of you, you need to love your shadow self as well, okay? Uh, because that is part of you, right? Yeah, see, look, we are the world and we have going with the flow here. Definite ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, okay? And um, and bringing people in who are there to assist you, who are there to help you, who are willing to join forces with you to create what it is, that this vision that you have to help with this new beginning, to help you, Gemini, because um, this resistance is so strong within you. It's, it's sort of like, you know what, it's like both these cards here and even these ones here, um, with the ending and the beginning, this is this twin, these twins have kind of having this battle of going, I'm, I'm just not going to, and the other twin going, but you need to and you have to because it's going to happen anyway. And, it's, and, and I really feel like it's a matter of surrendering, which can be really hard to do. But once you do Gemini, boy, oh boy, it's so much easier. Okay, so unhappiness. Right, Gemini, let's have a look at unhappiness here. Okay, so two cards for unhappiness for Gemini, please. Searching for contentment is a well-traveled path that can be elusive. The hunt for happiness might not conclude at the destination, but joy can be found during the journey itself. Man, Gemini, you know, with these people who are there to help you, who are there to come in and assist you, when you allow them in, you'll start to see how much support you do have, okay? Um, oh, that was two cards. I need to put them back. I only want one more card for Gemini, please, for unhappiness. One more card for unhappiness, yep. I don't know what it is yet, it's upside down, but let's start with this card here, move forward, there's this internal battle going on about this um, new beginning here, Gemini, um, it's really interesting because this card here I feel depicts what the other ones are, um, are saying, there's the shadow self here, the shadow self is so afraid, of um, coming out into the light, right? And there's the sense of feeling like it's all on you. It's all on your shoulders. You have to do everything yourself and no one else can really ha help you. But to be honest with you, it's a matter of opening up, okay? You have to open up to everyone else um, so that they can see where you're struggling. And when you do that, Gemini, you start to understand yourself where you're struggling. And those those things that you struggle to open up about the most are, um, and the things that you try to keep hidden are those, 
those things that you need to call on help for. So move forward. Okay. Yeah, there's something massive that has happened for you here, Gemini. And um, and I really, really do feel like, um, although potentially you probably can't see it yet, whatever has happened, whatever um, went on for you, actually really interesting because I feel like for some of you there was a moment of terror in your life that has caused you quite a lot of anguish um, and prevented you from reaching what it is you know like um, what it is that you really want the happiness that um, you are trying to move towards it's kind of like this moment, it's kind of like blocking you in a sense. Yeah, and I feel as though, Gemini, that it's, there's a potential for you to be able to grow and harvest what it is that you want to um, succeed at. That I, I want to say, try not to put all your energy into this one moment. And I don't mean to say that to minimize that one moment and the impact that it has had. I mean to say that to give you the permission to take your power back, Gemini. And this could have been one moment, this could have been a hundred moments, it could have been a thousand moments. But it's time to take your power back and move forward. Okay, you don't need to hide in the shadows anymore, Gemini. Because there's no, no way to move forward in the shadows because you can't see where you're going and it's kind of like wandering around aimlessly wondering where you know the exit is type of thing okay um so yeah i really feel like it's time to allow people in and they will help to lead you okay worlds within worlds hmm This is, this is an ending of a cycle, which is, when we're talking about endings and new beginnings here, this is a huge ending. And maybe this is the ending of this impact of this moment here, you know. Um, it's, it's, there's not much more that you can learn from it now. And it's time to move forward, okay? And and also, you know, with this unhappiness card here, looking at the journey and understanding because um, sometimes we feel like we have to do this and we have to do that and we're always trying to strive to reach this happiness. But we can have happiness right here in this moment. You know, we can feel that within us. It's, it's a state that we can actually feel within. We don't have to do anything. We don't need anything extra. Um, it's it's a feeling and an emotion that we can provoke ourselves, okay? So this here, Gemini, is bringing this world of joy within yourself in order to experience it on the external because it's kind of like for some of you, you're waiting for it to happen externally so you can bring it into yourself. But I feel the opposite needs to happen here. So two cards for worlds within worlds here for Gemini, please. Yep, for sure. See? The other thing here too, Gemini, is what I'm seeing here is... Um, you're not giving yourself credit for the strength that you have. Okay, 
and um, I feel like it's really important for you to stop looking at the closed door stop looking through the closed gate because it's locked and it's padlocked and it's not going to open again it's time to turn around and see what is there for you there's inner child work here Gemini that definitely needs to be done for some of you okay um, and I feel like it would be really helpful for you to step into your adult self to take care of that child to move forward okay um, and you'll start to feel that empowerment of doing that and the confidence that you experience during that time that is going to help you to not allow this to have the power over you that it has because this child here is looking still looking at this right it's like oh that happened and um and yes you can do that to heal it but i feel like all the healing that can be done has been done and it's time to move forward now okay delay two cards for delay for gemini please two cards for delay not everything has to happen now and taking time to consider the outcome can be beneficial however delaying won't fix anything as nothing will change yeah and this is this delay here right um i feel like there there needs to be this joy ignited within yourself in order for you to take some inspired action just pick this card up <sighs> yeah see look at this gemini gratitude this is gratitude for everything that you have okay and understanding that although everything that you've experienced may not have been uh, particularly wonderful or um you know enjoyable uh, looking at those things that you can learn from that the things that you can take away from that and how that's made you grow how that's made you stronger how that has sort of undressed the strength that you have within you okay um, because I feel like there's this internal power that you now possess inside of you um, that is ready to come out and be shown to the world and um, by not going with the flow and by holding on to something that no longer serves you you still succumb um, to the sheep's clothing which is not what uh, you should be wearing anymore Gemini because you are this lion here okay and I really feel like it's time to step into that power okay so gratitude Gemini gratitude for yourself gratitude for that strength within two cards for gratitude for Gemini please like how that one came out and just fell out one more card for gratitude for gemini please still not one card for gratitude for gemini okay thank you all righty so man i tell you what this new beginning here is freaking pretty huge okay you breaking free from the chains right um you breaking yourself out of that gemini and coming into the truth of who you really are all right and and it's kind of like when it talks about not everything has to happen now okay that doesn't mean procrastinate on um on moving forward and taking action because delaying it won't fix anything remember as nothing will change so delaying it is only going to keep you in it Gemini and that's not what you want you want to break free from the chains that this has um has over you and keeps you trapped okay um and walk into this new beginning this passionate new beginning that you 100 percent deserve okay gemini limitless you are a limitless being some of you feel like you're limited some of you feel like i can't do this because of this i can't do this i can't move forward because the gate is shut and it's 
chained and it's padlocked. The fact of the matter is you can turn around and go in another direction. Okay, um, you don't have to, like, I, I, I feel like it really is thinking outside of the box here, Gemini. So, um, and understanding that you are a limitless being, right? So two cards for limitless for Gemini, please. Um, and embracing that, really embracing that, okay? Because what you are headed towards, Gemini, is this... Um, this abundance of the flow of life that you can build something that is going to support you for the rest of your entire existence here on this earth okay um and i feel as though it's just a matter of getting out of your own way because um you are holding yourself back um, and part of that is actually a protection, okay? Um, this card also flipped over here and you are remaining in the cage while you watch everyone go out and fly. And it's your turn to fly, Gemini. It is your turn to fly. So, yeah, don't hold yourself back because you're not doing yourself any favours. And the more you delay it, the more difficult is it is going to be because the seasons will change. There will be um, another reason to delay that will never, ever, ever seem like the right time. So I feel like, Gemini, it's now. I want to say or never, but I don't feel or never, but the time is now for sure. Now, Gemini, okay? Don't delay any longer because you are... You are more than ready, you are overqualified, and you are deserving of this change. Okay, Gemini, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.